it's just part of your life up here. It's, it's your mean of transportation other than an automobile. It's, uh, it's just a way of life. So much a way of life that old timers say, get a good airplane and a junker car. But flying Alaska isn't just for the folks who live there. Pilots from the lower 48 can find plenty of adventure and places to explore as well. Alaska is aviation friendly. We chose to explore the Copper River Basin about 120 nautical miles east of Anchorage. Places that you can see from the air up here, you, I mean, you have opportunities here you have no place else in America. Dennis Oakland owns and operates the Evergreen Lodge on Lake Louise. It's an ideal location for a pilot visiting Alaska. For land planes, the Lake Louise Airport is close by. So uh, when they built that airport, I thought they built it just for me since my plane's the only one there. But it's, you know, obviously you've been in and out of this strip. It's a 3,000 foot strip. It's uh, well maintained. Um, and the, uh, the nice thing about it is in close proximity to the lodge, it's only three miles away. You know, I can pick people up. I'll be providing av gas in the future. I'm gonna uh, have a tank here as well, portable tank, you know, where I can drive to their plane and, and provide av gas to them. Particularly on floats, uh, this, this area, uh, there's not a lot of services out here for float plane pilots. I can... But Dennis already has Avgas dockside. You can fly to Lake Louise from Anchorage through the Tanita Pass. There are weather cameras along the way so you can check the route before you go. And once in the Copper River Basin, plenty to see without ever venturing into the mountains if you don't want to. Most folks want to see the glaciers and there are plenty of those. To the east is the Kennecott Glacier in Wrangell St. Elias National Park, the largest national park, bigger than Switzerland, Yellowstone, and Yosemite combined, as a matter of fact. The area is also home to the old Kennecott Mine, now a national monument, and the frontier town of McCarthy. It's a difficult drive to McCarthy, but an easy flight, as we found out. At the other side of the basin, Teslina Glacier and Lake. This 25 mile long glacier is the largest northward flowing glacier in the Chugach Mountain. I think they can expect to, to see sites that they, they're not going to see anyplace else. I mean, from, you know, the mountains, the glaciers, ocean, I mean, we, the lakes, we've got a variety of everything here. 